Hi there, Laura Jean, Bad Dream Cosplay here today. So it is the middle of October, so Halloween thoughts are in my head. And so today we're gonna to talk about home decor or haunting your home, however you wanna think about it. I do have 10 years experience in haunted houses, building, designing, decorating, um, and acting in them, as well as training scare actors um, and managing them. So this is a quick build, um, just out of things I had at home. Uh, we're going to make a desiccated corpse um, wrapped in spider webs. That's what we're going to do. Basically, I have on one side of my house, I have a giant 25 foot spider web and some lights, and that's it. And it looks weird having only a spider web there. So, my plan is to put some um, hanging spider egg globules um, from the gutters, as well as this corpse that looks like it's had all of its blood sucked out of it um, and wrapped up in spider webs. So household stuff pretty much that I've used or things that I had on hand. I have a giant five foot tall skeleton. Um, his joints are all articulated so right now he's all curled up. I have had him for about five years. It's the first time he's been out of the closet. Yeah, Skelly's come out of the closet too. Uh, two days ago was National Coming Out Day for LGBT persons and I am all about it. I'm really proud of everybody who came out. Um, I hope that you find love and acceptance with the people that you came out to. And if not, know that I love and accept you. So there you go. Other things we're gonna need. Um, I think we might need a glue gun, not 100% sure. So I brought mine down just in case. Some uh, scissors, these do not have to be your good fabric scissors. These are just crafting scissors. A couple of bags of stretchy spider webs. And then some tool and a roll of plastic wrap. Where did I put my plastic wrap? There's my plastic wrap. And a roll of plastic wrap. All right. So the first thing we're gonna do is get all the junk off the table that I don't need. And the gravity. And we're gonna take out Skelly here. I'm gonna get him all spread out the way he needs to be. So we have them all spread out the way we need them to be. What I need to do with him though is, right now he's a skeleton. I need to add some tissue to him to make him a cadaver. So we're gonna use the plastic wrap to do that. So we're gonna get his arms and his legs out of the way because I'm gonna basically fill his abdominal cavity. All right? All right, so we got his arms and his legs out of the way. We're gonna use the plastic wrap to create some thickness in his abdominal cavity region. You'll probably get to watch me struggle with it because uh, me and my nails and plastic wrap never get along together. There we go. So, there we go. All right. So I'm gonna kind of put it through his pelvis and give it a knot just to have somewhere to start with. And then, over the shoulder and then back down between the legs and then over the other shoulder yes there we go so we got a good start here we're getting there and then i have this bunch of plastic wrap I tried doing this earlier and it didn't work out so well doing it on the floor. I'm just gonna tuck that in there so we're not wasting it, wasting it. And now hopefully I still have enough plastic wrap. Oh, I just ran out. I have no more in the house, so we're gonna make what we have work. But at least he is not skeletal anymore. He has something there um, so that's the first step second step tool this is some old tool I had around the house from other projects this is kind of a skin tone color um, because I use some leftover brown dye to give it a brown color and what we're gonna do you can also use um, cheesecloth if you don't have tool or if you prefer to use cheesecloth so all I'm gonna do again is wrap this around his torso and around his arms and around his legs and give him that cocooned look. I'm gonna heat up my glue gun because I think I'm gonna need it. And um, 
yeah, we'll get started. All right, so now we're going to wrap the tool around the body. I've put the body more or less in the position that I want it to be in once it's inside the cocoon. Um, I want this to not be a permanent addition to my skeleton, just in case I want to pull them apart at some time and use them for something different, which is why we're using glue on plastic because it peels off fairly easily. So I just need to tack the first little piece of tool in place here, reminding myself not to touch the actual glue. I'm using my fingernail. There we go. And down here as well, just to give it something to stick to when we start wrapping him up. So. So I started out with two yards of tool and I cut that into three long strips. Um, this is basically again just adding some structure to the skeleton so that way the stretchy spider web has something to stick to as we go. And I'm going to get his head draped around too. So one thing to keep note of is at the top of his head, there is this little string. We want to keep that string free because that's how we're going to hang him up at the end of this. But I do also still want to get his head as part of the cocoon. So we're going to shroud him up in this, maybe. Probably going to keep my butt from here to Sunday. There we go. yourself that this does not have to be perfect because it is a Halloween prop and it is meant to be freaky not cute in theory All right. and then we're gonna throw down a couple more little dots of glue gun glue there just to hold the end in place that a second to cool off before I flip them back over onto my tablecloth. All right, there we go. So we're getting there, at least with this layer. So now it's time to do his legs. So again, we're going to put down a little bit of glue to stick the tool to. And you don't need a lot of glue. We're just using it to kind of hold the tool in place so that when we start rolling it around the body, it doesn't slip and slide all over the place. Because Skelly is slippery enough all on his own without fighting with tool, as I fight with tool. There we go. This is my last piece of tool, so I'm trying to get it to go all the way down to the feet. which looks like it's just barely gonna do, which is good. I don't mind his little foot bones hanging out at the bottom, but there we go, which is exactly what they're going to do. All right, and a couple more little pieces of glue to hold the ends in place. tacking down anywhere else that may need a little extra. Like I said, this is just so that way it doesn't come undone as we're rolling Skelly around. Step three, stretchy spider web stuff. This stuff will stick to anything with a rough edge. It's part of the reason we use that tool, like I said before. You can buy this stuff anywhere. I got mine from Walmart. It was a dollar for a bag. Um, 
but you can get it just about anywhere. I know Halloween stores all have them, costume stores all have them. Basically, if you're spending more than a couple bucks a bag, then you're probably spending a little too much. They come in different colors. Some of them are black light reactive. Um, so keep that in mind when you're shopping for it to make sure you get the right kind, especially if you're needing to match several bags for a specific look. But basically all you're doing is, like I just did, I found the end of this piece and then you just stretch it out and um, until you get it, you know, as thin as you want it to be. So I think that's a pretty good start. I still want people to be able to see that there's a body inside and I will probably go back through this and add baby spiders to it as well, which I do not have right now. I'll have to go shopping for those. But this is where you're just going to fiddle with it until you like the way it looks. So I'm going to do this for a little while and then I will check back in with you periodically to show you what's going on. All right, so so far I've used one bag of the stretchy spider webs and I've completely covered Skelly with a few layers. Um, a few, I think I've done more from like the middle of the thigh to the head than I have from you know, the hips down. So I'm going to definitely use the second bag up. Something I have found is I did need the glue gun on a low heat. The high heat melts the spider web. Um, so, but it's nice just to kind of tack it down a little bit here and there. And then also, you can cut this into smaller sections to make it easier to work with, but don't cut it this way. Open it up a little bit because of the way the fibers run and you're gonna cut it this way. If you cut it this way, then the fibers are you know, this long and they don't stretch. If you cut it this way, cut it from the top down, then the fibers are however long you've cut it and they'll stretch more. So keep that in mind. I had forgotten that because I haven't used this in so long. So I cut a bunch of sections that were you know, um, three inches long and then realized, oh, I can't use these. <laughs> so um, yeah, keep them. You know, you can definitely cut it shorter a bit, but then to break it down even more, you know, then you're going to want to split it that way. So then you still have all this wide stretch that you can use here. And you put it down then in patches instead of rolling it around your skelly. Um, all right, last little bit here. This is the last of that second bag. I'm just kind of trying to wrap it diagonally around to tuck in all the little pieces that I had done. And uh, oh, it was working so well. Now it's going to fight me. All right, almost done. So there you have it, our spider victim desiccated corpse. I still need to add the baby spiders to him and then I'll hang him up outside of my home tomorrow. I'll get some photos so you can see what he looks like in his natural environment. I'm sure he'll add a little something more to that 25 foot spider web that I have out there, which is all why it's lonesome right now. Um, let me know if you have any further questions in the comments below. You can follow me on Facebook. I am Bad Dream Cosplay. So there you go. Have a great night and happy haunting this Halloween. Ta-ta for now. Until next time. As promised, a photo of the completed desiccated corpse project. It is hanging on the side of my home from an S hook. I think it adds a lot to this area and really brings together this whole spider infestation look that I was going for. Thanks again for watching.